Hi all, Simon Clement here. I was chatting to a client earlier today and she was talking about how she was responding to symptoms and she was being very self-critical. So when I work with people, I talk about this formula E plus R equals O, where E is the event, R is the response, and O is the outcome. So in this situation, the event was symptoms and her response could be to, could be to respond in a negative way, a neutral way, or a positive way. She recognized that she was responding in a negative way. And I work with a lot of clients who, when they experience symptoms, they do the same thing. One of the questions I ask people is, would you respond to your friends in the way that you're responding to yourself? She said no. And actually, whenever I ask people that, they always say no. And so I said, what would it be like to just respond to your symptoms in a neutral way or even uh, a positive way? And actually, when I drew this little diagram, I noticed that the... Um, face on the positive one looks a little bit like a heart and so I asked her the question what would it be like if everything that you were saying to yourself was kind and compassionate now obviously none of us are perfect and we're not going to achieve that all the time but what would it be like if we were being kind and compassion compassionate to ourselves even when we'd overdone it and we were doing that more consistently what effect would that have? And she recognised it would have a profound effect. So I hope that's given you some food for thought. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips, do join my Facebook group by clicking the link below. Wishing you great health. Bye for now.